right, guys, today we're coming back to something that we actually did a while ago, but we're gonna go through the step-by-step -step installation of the fourth brake light for the GR86. If you guys watched recently, we just installed the SPL camber arms, the lower control arm, the Cusco upper control arms. That was all in an effort to get more tire contact to the car with all the extra power that it's making now. So let's uh, let's breeze through this. You guys probably know the easy, simple way to actually undo this. Uh, this part number will also be listed on the website. Uh, this We get a lot of questions on this. This is wrapped the same color as our car, kind of adds a cool little accent underneath. Uh, but to do this, we need to remove this first. And then with a couple clips here, we need to remove this out and then we're going to be installing the double pressed black the double smoked so it's this one here and these are all the v2s and so these all have a switch on the back of them now and they will allow a uh, fourth brake light to flash f1 style so let's get to it So this is the clear black version that we installed in our previous video. So if you're looking at those, the reels that we've done before and all the testing when we showed you this light, this was the product that we actually used. I really like this one quite a bit. Um, I just kind of prefer this smoked look. Um, so this is why we're gonna do this. And this actually is a new version. This came out later and our request to the manufacturer. Um, when we, you know, we started selling these, we were like, hey, I think the US market's gonna want something that's just a little bit darker and fully smoked out. And then we also have this version with the vibrant red. Uh, this is super cool. This is actually a uh, surprise us. This is selling really well. Um, looks really good. It matches a lot of the taillights out there. There is one more option out there. I think it's a clear, clear. It is on our website. I have all the links below so you guys can check them out. And um, just today's video is just really to go over the install, kind of show you the updated version. These are things that we request from the manufacturer. And I'll do one thing I do want to touch base on, like you will see these same products from other people. Uh, we don't really try to like rebrand them or put names on them and stuff like that. You know, we just sell them under the speed industry name. A lot of these do come from the same supplier overseas that we've worked with for the past 10 years on a lot of different products and stuff. So once you get the tail light removed, this is the key part. Uh, we've actually worked with the manufacturer early on and we actually got these wires repinned for USDM. Uh, it's pretty common first time around. They always send them to us and we always have to explain to them like that the US cars are just not the same. They've been like that since the Gen 1s. And what I mean by that is the, the basically the parking light and the turn signal are actually reversed. So if you see anyone and their lights are doing something different, even on these new gen cars, it's probably because of that because they manufactured a lot of these lights for different markets and in the US for some reason they're just wired completely different. So what we have here is we have a complete wiring harness. This is going to go on the bottom lower side and this is going to connect between the OEM harness and our Valenti tail light. So this is just going to clip in here. This is going to go to the Valenti tail light. We're going to drop this part down and run it down below. And I gotta recall what this is, but this will actually change the setting on the light itself. So we're gonna plug this in right now. So this is gonna go down to the bottom and this is gonna plug into the back of our light. I'm gonna carefully set it right here. And so that one will end up plugging in to this one here, the three pin connection. As you can see, the wires don't match, but that's okay. Um, and then this harness here is gonna plug into the other stuff. So we're gonna plug this one into here down below. I'm just kind of giving you guys an example right now. And then this one plugs into the OEM harness. And then one is kind of extra for a different market. And then this is our switch. So let's get this wire fed. So what I'm gonna do guys, is I'm gonna actually put our taillight I'm gonna plug it in and uh, leave it here. I'm gonna put one of the bolts in, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to access this. I wanna actually show you guys what this does. And then this is for the Valenti startup mode. Uh, so this has to get plugged back in as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna tuck this harness down in here. I'm gonna put this one down and I'm gonna drop this taillight in here. If you guys remember, there's a bunch of different connections here uh, for the Valenti taillights. By unplugging and plugging these things in, it turns things on and off. So we're just gonna kind of get this all tucked right down underneath there. And we're just gonna drop this taillight back in here for now. So coming down here, this is our stock wire that we've already unplugged. I can see my wire, it's way up there. I'm gonna reach my hand up and I'm gonna grab it. And I'm gonna feed it down. 
I have a little bit of excessiveness here, so we're gonna figure out what to do with this slack afterwards. We're probably gonna take it and wrap it up like this and zip tie it, get it all nice and tight. But as I said, we're gonna plug this in. So let's uh, get the light itself. Let's mount it to this here, and then we'll plug everything in. Before we get this going, we're gonna put this one in here. We're gonna get this snug and we're gonna clip it in so that one's secure. And we're going to feed this one through here real quick. And plug this one in as well. Okay, so we'll clip that guy in. So you can see what I did. Let me I grabbed the light so you guys can see it. Uh, this is where that factory plug is. This one is actually nothing for our US market. And uh, this is the extra wire. You can see there's a little bit of slack here. So there's a wire up here. I'm gonna just end up taking this and tying this up and zip tying it like this. And I'm gonna tie it together right there. I don't know if you guys can see, but that's what I'll end up doing. I'll show you guys the final product. So as you guys can see, there's plenty of extra play in here, but the wires are you know, snug up top. They're not gonna be hanging low. Uh, you're not gonna look like a fool driving down the road with wires hanging down low on your car. So I'll cut this off and then uh, we're good to go. That's nice and tight there. All right guys, before you button everything up, this is why I left the tail light off. It's a good time to check everything. I'm actually gonna pull it apart and I'm gonna test what that red wire does on the inside. So I got Caleb inside the car. Uh, we're gonna hit the brake lights. We're gonna show you that the F1 function is actually working. So I'll go ahead and hit the brake lights. Let's do that. So you can see the F1 function. If you hold the brake lights down, it just kind of stays pretty solid there. Uh, let's take the brakes off. Let's put our parking lights on. So you can see this actually has a little animated sequence, which is super cool. Uh, hit the brakes. And then obviously, like, uh, we can't really put it in reverse because the car's not running, but the reverse was the OEM plug. So if you do the reverse, these two will actually light up. We'll show you that on the ground once we get, the, once we get this all wrapped up. But first, for curiosity, I want to find out what this red plug does. So I'm going to take this off here. I had the bolts in here so these taillights did not fall out. I'm going to pull this open. I'm going to unplug this little red wire. And so you guys want to make sure that you do plug it in and I'm going to see what actually stops working now. So I'm just going to set that there. So I'll go ahead and hit the uh, brake light, Caleb. Yeah, so that is our brake light connection. So if you want this as just a running light and no brake light, you have the option to actually unplug that for some reason. Um, go ahead and off brake light, on brake light. Okay, let's test it again. So off brake light, let's connect it. I'm not sure why, we'll talk to the manufacturer and see if they can get this to just be standard plugged in. So plugged in, so on brake light, and as you can see. And if I were to go in there and flip that switch, we will actually have the non F1 version. So this one allows you to choose that. Cool, let's wrap this up. Let's get this tucked back in here. Put our tail light back in. We'll make sure we get that pin in place. Go from there. And we'll get this set here. And this is the same process. I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna actually flip the switch and just kind of show you guys how this works in uh, normal mode. And uh, kind of confirm that with you guys and just give you an example. And Caleb's still in the car. So this will be a quick, easy test. And then you guys can make your decision on what you want to do when you install this on your car. And these were just kind of finger tight, so we got those there. I'll pull this out. I'm gonna flip this switch real quick. And I guess if you really wanted to, you could pop this switch through. It won't flip through this hole, but you could drill a hole right here. So I happen to have this uni bit sitting right next to us here. So I'm actually just gonna drill a hole right here. This is a quick little hack for this. And let's see. The reason I did that is because I don't ever wanna pull this off if I just wanna switch the mode. So I'm gonna switch it. I'm gonna put this through the hole here. Get these wires. And one key thing here, come on in here guys. You gotta get these clips right up over top of these. That's kind of the secret. There's only two on the aftermarket piece on the left and the right. That kind of puts everything in place. And then if you come underneath here, come here. You can see my switch right here now. 
Let me get the light. So you can see what I did is I got the switch so you can come on the back side a little bit easier instead of having to remove that whole light. So just a little hack if you guys want to do that. Let's do a test. Let's turn it off and let's see what it, the brake light's like now. Go ahead and hit the brake. So you guys can see it one way. Do it again, off. Switch the switch, do it again. It's gonna get me dizzy. Hit it, I'm solid, switch it again. And I hit the switch, all right. I think we're gonna leave it on the F1 mode. I think it's super cool, it's a little more attention grabbing. No one, you don't want anyone to hit your car. Uh, rear end it so it's just a little bit more vibrant. I think it's a little safer too. All right guys, so I just wanna kinda like re, re go through this real quick since we pulled it out on the front side. Uh, this is our switch on the back side here. Uh, the hole is big enough just to get it through. You can fine tune that if you really, really want to. Um, you know, but with us, we actually have this lower valance so it's actually more difficult for us just to pull the light out. Um, but again, that's just how we did it. Uh, we're gonna put the metal plate back in here. We're gonna put our lower valance and the plastic piece in and then I'm gonna put it on the ground and go over everything with you guys. As you guys see, this metal cover covers things up, but like I said, if you wanna come one more step further and bring that switch out, you could do that, um, but it's really not that hard to get these bolts out. And probably once you decide, you're probably not gonna switch it anyways. Um, I just wanna do that to actually show you guys how easy it was to switch back and forth. What this is, guys, this is actually like a, um, it's a skeleton of our actually diffuser. And we never actually put the tape on because we knew we were gonna be taking this thing on and off several, several times, which we have. Um, and it works perfectly fine like that. This is an OEM Subaru part. I'll make sure I put the link on the website below. Uh, let me see the part real quick. I'll show you guys how this like slides on. So this is clipped in already. And this piece will actually just slide in over top of it. It's the OEM Subaru. This will just kind of come in over here. Get all those, and then it goes like that, and then all these clips just hold it in place. Brake off, parking lights off. Alexa, turn off the shop lights. <laughs> <laughs> 